Here's another money moment from the Income for Life show with Matt Nelson and Nick Schilling. Explain to people what it means to short a stock. Great. And this is one thing where it is kind of incongruent with the way that we think the stock market works. I remember in college, the first time Trump, somebody tried to explain to me how they were shorting a stock. It didn't make sense. I told them that's not real. You can't do that. And they proved me wrong. So I'm in this basket. That was 20 some years ago. We are but, all in this we, basket. It, we get how some of these things, especially in this larger marketplace, don't make sense. And what we want to make happen is that you understand kind of what's going on. Not that you're ever going to use these things, but you understand what's being talked about. So being able to short a stock is being able to take a stance that the stock is going to drop. And the way that you bet that for that, for that the stock is going to drop is that you short a stock. What we're doing when we're shorting a stock is we are actually borrowing shares of stock from a brokerage or a broker, and we're selling those at the current marketplace. Then what we have to do in order to give back those shares of stock, at some time they're going to be due. The person that borrowed it, that lent it to us, they're going to want those shares back. If it's two shares of GameStop in this circumstance, they're going to want those two shares back. Because you borrowed them. Because I borrowed it to them. I'm going to pay them a little bit of interest while I'm holding them, but I sold them at the marketplace at yet, say, $30. And what I'm looking to do is, over the course of time, buy them back at a price that's lower than $30. So I'm betting that I'm going to be able to sell them at the current market rate, and I'm betting that when I have to buy them back, that the market rate for that stock is going to be selling lower than it is right now. So let's stop right there. Let's say that you buy 1,000 shares at 30 bucks. Correct. Okay. Or you borrow. Maybe in this case, if you're talking about shorting. Yep. I borrow a thousand shares and I sell them in the market at $30. So there's $30,000. Correct. Right. But then that value, that 30 bucks a share goes to 20. Correct. Now it's 20 bucks a share. Correct. Right. So then you pay back. Explain that mechanism. So if I borrow a thousand shares from somebody, and Matt, you're the broker, so you lend me a thousand shares, I sell them at the marketplace at $30 per share, I get from the marketplace 30 grand in cash. The only thing that I owe is at some time, I owe you a thousand shares Correct. of that stock back again. Doesn't matter what price it's at because you just lent it to me. I owe you the thousand shares. My bet and my hope is that I can sell them back to you or give them back to you at a less price than what I sold them to the marketplace at. Which is the short. Which is the short. So if my bet is that it's going to go down. I can, you lend them to me. I sell them at the marketplace at $30. When they get to $29, I could sell them and make some money or 20 or 10, whatever it is. But if I can buy them back at the market price at $10, I spend 10 grand of the 30 that, that I made, give you back the thousand shares. And I just made 20 grand. I just in that made sale. 20 grand. That is a kind of a long winded, maybe a little bit confused, confused way of looking at a short. And we know what, what we're trying to do is difficult to explain. And a so. short is by definition a hedge. So people in hedge funds use this to hedge positions and be able to take non market appreciation stances on the market. Yes. To hedge these things. So that's what we're trying to do. Right so when you hear the word hedge fund, yep. that's what we're talking it's about. It's one of the techniques that many hedge funds use. That's another money moment from the Income for Life show. And don't forget to subscribe to the show on your favorite podcast app. And if you have any questions for Matt and Nick or want to get a complimentary financial review, just go to incomeforlife.org. That's incomeforlife.org.